Let's talk about more PlayStation 3 games that I want to get digitally before the PS3 store closes down on July 2nd. Let's get started. Hey guys, welcome back to Pop Games and thank you for stopping by. This is a follow up video to my other video I made about the PS3 video games that we should get before the store closes down. Now this is my personal opinion and then some of these video games might also be out physically or they might be in other consoles ported to other consoles. Now, why do I want to get them on the PlayStation 3? Well, that's because it might be cheaper to buy them digitally on the PS3 than a physical copy. A lot of games out there right now are a lot of money, like a ton of money for a physical copy of these video games because they might be like a cult classic or maybe they're uh, uh, highly sought after by collectors and stuff like that. So that's probably the case. Or I may not have an Xbox that I want to get this version on the Xbox and stuff like that. That's why I want to get the PS3 version. So if you guys have any suggestions, let me know in the comments down below. Let me know what games you guys are thinking about buying for your PlayStation 3 before the store closes on July 2nd. Let's go ahead and move on to the uh, PS3 here and check out the store and see what games we can find today. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and open up the PlayStation Store. Now, again, guys, this is my personal opinion. These games are the ones that I've been looking for that I want to get before the store closes. I made a video last time about the games that I wanted to get. I added them onto my cart, so let's go ahead and check these games and see what we can find today. Now, I did say in the last video that I wanted to get the DuckTales game remastered and there is a physical copy out there it's about $60 on eBay so if you want to buy that that way you can but I may get it digitally here on the PS3 so let's go to games first before we get started and see what games we want to get now we can either browse or we can search if you browse you can take a long time to find the games you want is it's probably gonna take hours to go through this list so I'll just do a search and the first game like I said guys is gonna be DuckTales this is a game that I want to buy so let's see how much it is and I'll eventually buy it before the store closes but right now I'm adding them all to the cart as you see up there I have four in my cart those are the four previous games that I had from last time so uh, let's go ahead and add this one DuckTales remastered we have it here for $15 again that's pretty steep price for a digital game but at the same time it's a game that is remastered. It's it has awesome graphics. It looks really fun to play and you can either pay $15 for the digital version or you can pay $60 for the physical version if you want to go that route as well. But right now I'm going to go ahead and add this to my cart and save it for later. And again guys, that is DuckTales Remastered. Let's go ahead and continue shopping and see what other games we can find here that I have on this list. So another game I want to play is Castle of Illusion. Now these games are basically, um, they came out a while ago. I believe it was on the uh, Sega system, but I haven't owned a Sega system in a long time. I don't have a Sega Genesis or anything like that. So this is the only way I can play Castle of Illusion. So it'll be Castle, let's see here if I can, if I can spell correctly, Castle of Illusion starring Mickey Mouse right here. And this one is again $15, which is again a lot of money for an older game, but this is one of the ways you can play this game. Like I said, this came out back in the day on the Sega Genesis. I don't have the console right now. I don't have the physical cartridge. So buying this right now, preserving history somehow on my PlayStation 3, you know, in a uh, digital manner is the way I can go about getting this. So I added that to cart. So let's go ahead and search for another game. Let me know guys in the comments down below if you guys own Castle of Illusion for your Sega Genesis, if you have the actual cartridge, that'll be cool to know in the comments down below. All right, let's go ahead and talk about another game here that I recently found through Radical Reggie on uh, YouTube. And this one is called Rocket, uh, Rocket Knight. So this game here looks like it's a lot of fun. It's right up my alley. And I like like you know platformers and stuff like that and old school games that are they have cool colors they look nice and bright on the screens and stuff like that and this one here is one of the ones that I really wanted to get so this is called Rocket Knight and here it is right here this one costs fifteen dollars as well wow but uh, you do have a free demo down here again another way to preserve this game 
digitally so let's go ahead and add it to my shopping cart and we will continue shopping but again guys this is rocket knight and this is a let's see here featuring gorgeous next generation graphics and that's the new environments blast possuming has never looked so good new levels and challenges play through four exciting new worlds featuring expansive platform stages and thrilling flight stages so that is cool guys all right so that was rocket knight let's go ahead and move on to one of the games that I didn't know this existed up until like a couple of years ago when I found out about it and I forgot about it. Now, I am a huge Rocket League fan. I love that game. The only bad thing about Rocket League is the toxicity of some of the players. They're very, very, you know, immature and some of them just talk trash. But there is a few set of players that are nice and stuff like that. They'll help you out. However, the game itself is a lot of fun. It is very challenging and I do spend sometime playing that game when i want to just relax and chill for like five minutes because the matches are like five minutes long however whenever i play a game i don't just play five minutes i play like more like 15 20 minutes because you can't just play one match you want to if you lose one time you want to actually leave the game winning so i try to you know i'll stop playing once i win more than just one match right so that's what i try anyways let's go ahead and talk about the game that uh started it all and that is supersonic acrobatic rocket power battle cars that is a mouthful guys but this is a very first game in the series let's go ahead and see if uh we'll find it here super now i said series but there's only this game and rocket league so it's not that much of a series but it's more than one so yeah so it's called super let's see if we get like a suggestion there it is right there second one and this one is three dollars of course i want to get this game so that is awesome add it to my cart that's awesome guys continue shopping so take control of vehicles with incredible physics based maneuverability including boosters for launching high into the air or accelerating at breakneck speed on the ground this is cool guys the very first Rocket League game. It came out October 9th, 2008. That is awesome. So, yes, of course, I'm going to get this game and uh, have it here on my PlayStation 3. Now, uh, to my knowledge, I don't know if it came out physically in any form or way anywhere. So, let me know in the comments down below if you think this game came out physically or if you know it came out physically. Because I don't know. I searched online, but it was a very brief search. So, I don't know if, uh, you know, there's some more information out there. But as of right now... This game is digital only to my knowledge, all right? I might be wrong, but I didn't do a, uh, too much of a search on that. Now, I want to go ahead and end the video with two classic games, older games, and one of them being Xenogears. Now, I've never played this game before. I don't have the copy for the PlayStation 1, so my way of playing this game, if I don't want to buy the expensive physical copy, would have to be to buy it here for 10 bucks on the PlayStation 3 store, so you can play this on your ps3 and that'll be awesome this is an rpg let me know in the comments down below if you guys are familiar with xeno gears again guys this is a game i'm going to add to my cart and then later revisit it whenever i have some time right now i have a, about 97 dollars worth of games in my cart so that is going to be fun checking out all these games later paying for them but you know it's awesome to keep these games uh on my ps3 and play them whenever i want Finally, the last one that I want to talk about here is Tomba, 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 however you want to say it. This video game is another one of those old school games that I've never played that I want to try. I haven't found the physical copy, so let's see if I can spell this correctly. Tom, B-A, right? B-A? Yeah, there it is. So there's two. There's part one and part two, so basically they're like, uh, let's watch the trailer here. Hopefully this is not too loud. Let me lower the uh, volume here a little bit. So let's let's watch this trailer. We have a PlayStation 1 classic here. Let's load it up, baby. Watch this trailer and see what is up. It's taking forever for that to load. Oh, there it goes. Awesome. So yeah, I think I've seen this, uh, some people play this before, like seen the um, gameplay of it before. So it's like a platformer cool yeah this looks good uh i had it on my list because i saw somebody playing it a long time ago and then i wanted to make sure that i uh didn't forget about it I, again i don't have this game in physical format for the playstation one so this is a good way to buy it in digital form on your playstation 3 
So that is one way you can check that out. And here's part two as well. This one's $5.99. And the first one was how much? How much was the first one? $10. So let's go ahead and add that to my cart. Now I should be at around $107.90. So let's continue shopping. And if I make a third video, I will go ahead and show you guys about the, um, you know, any other game that may, uh, that I might think about buying. But before I forget, and again, let me go ahead and mention it one more time is the whole DLC stuff. So for example, uh, the last of us part one, let's see here was one of the games that I really loved on the PlayStation four. I never played it on the PS three, but there is some DLC like the second part of the game, the add-ons, uh, the left behind add-on. Now I just found out that there is a, this same add-on you can get on your PlayStation 4, and technically you can play on your PlayStation 5 as well because the PS5 is backwards compatible with your PlayStation 4. So if you wanna go that route, you can go ahead and buy the add-on on your PS4 or PS5 and play it that way. But if you don't have those consoles or if you, ha if you wanna have the actual you know, game on your PlayStation 3, the console that it came out for, then here it is, The Last of Us Left Behind. Again, I've never played this game before. It's 10 bucks. You can check it out yourself. Uh, never played that add-on. And here we have, let's see what, there's only one add-on and, you know, two themes, 17 avatars. If you want to get all this stuff, guys, again, you have to buy it digitally before the store closes because after that, it'll be gone for good. So there you have it guys, another set of video games to buy for the PlayStation 3. Let me know in the comments down below. If you guys have made your own list, leave it down below. I wanna see what you guys are buying, what you guys are thinking about getting on your PlayStation 3 before the store does close. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate every single one of you guys. Stay safe out there and peace out, happy gaming. See you guys later.